what's up YouTube, Enzero here, and it's been a long time since I've done an opening, but had some extra cash and uh, got some booster boxes of sets that I missed. This is the first set of the new part of the V series, and uh, I'm more excited for the ones that are upcoming, like the Dragon's Vanity one. Uh, the one that features uh, Genesis, Angel Feather, and Gear Chronicle. That's another one I'm looking forward to. This one, I I really like it. Uh, I'm more... I mean, all these clans are great. I'm. It, these are just all like backup clans to me that I would pick. Like, I have a Genesis deck... But it, it, it needs the stuff in here for sure. So, uh, advertisement. A special infinite infidity cradle campaign, or campaign pack. Uh, gifts. I believe there's three in here, if not four. And then our booster packs. So let me get that stuff out real quick. All these clans are great. I would build all of them. But if I had to choose one that I really wanted to build, it would probably be Nova Grappler, to be honest. So, all right. So, let's open up the gifts. The gifts look better in this generation, I guess, or this year. And uh, one of each. Uh, these are Force 2, Excel 2, and Protect 2 which the art style is much, much better. It's better than the just plain ones or some of the uh, character card ones. And uh, here's an Infidity campaign pack. Booster 7. So we got, for Link Joker, we got Shredding White Blade, Lapazelium. He looks really cool. And for Angel Feather, we got Medical Gunner Haramirius. Which is not bad. Both grade twos. And both clans that I would play. Alright. So for this one, I'm kind of hoping for God Hand Dragon. Because all the Nova Grappler stuff has like a mechanic that I like this time, where it has to deal with front triggers, which I I kind of wanted out of the Gold Paladins, but Gold Paladins just you know spam or spam like the summoning. All right, so we got Evil Decoy token, uh, Dispense Angel. Stealth Rogue of Gold Hooks, Ogita. Uh, gain Gain Times Two. Three Minutes. Uh, competent Mechanic, Siphanic. And uh, Heavenly Wind Sorcerer, Burnett. Uh, two, just two rares there. These tokens, uh, the token mechanic for Nubatama is pretty interesting. Where they can intercept from the back row, which is always great. It, any protect deck kind of needs it at this point. Uh, Stealth Beast, Hemetsukiba. I think they said that right. Stealth Rogue of... Grudgeful Gaze Diamaru. Fighting Referee. Stealth Fiend Yukioji. Stealth Fiend uh, Otsuzura. Uh, Saturn of Opportunity. And our Vanguard Rare is the Quaking Dra Heavenly Dragon Astraeus Dragon, which is pretty cool. Cool. First Vanguard Rare. 
It is the first actually like high quality rarity that we get is the Vanguard rare, which is pretty cool. I hear there's only one VR in this deck or in this booster box. So, uh, got the VR out of the way. I was hoping it would come in later. Okay, Witch of 10,000 Turtles Caper. Uh, Grit Bangle. Uh, Electrical Helper. Strongbow of Starry Knight Ulix, which is uh, from the previous gen, or er, Genesis. Uh, booster box Turbo Razor Stealth Fiend Tatar Rabu and our double rare is Evil Cenobite Gamio Yubo Gamiga Yubo whatever alright well he's a grade 3 with protect marker thing good for budget decks I'm guessing all right, the newer starter for uh, Ubatama, Evil Stealth Dragon, Ushimitsamaru. Uh, White, or er, White Wall Sorcerer Vegeva. Marking Celestial Arabaki. Odd Puncher, uh, Cell Noin. Wall Boy. Uh, Mobile Hospital Feather Palace. And Cannon Trooper Huskarl. Which is a pretty cool card. I like how this was downgraded. And this was downgraded. Which I might switch out the rares for this one. Because uh, I hate the texture of rares. Like they're just sticky. So I may just swap out my, com my rares for my commons. Because rares are probably the worst rarity. As far as textures go, uh, Ulix, uh, Quadrant Liger, Evil Decoy Token, Marking Celestial Arbaki, uh, Hoodlum Stealth Rogue, Taga Gamaro, uh, Elusive Mechanic, Stronger Knee, and we got a freaking cool looking. Imaginary gift. That's awesome. And it's an ex and it's an Excel too. So even better for me. That's freaking awesome. <clears throat> I know I don't sound like it, but it I'm I have like good trade value now, in my opinion. So I'm happy for that. That's that's awesome. It's making up for the fact that I'm probably not going to get a stealth, or I didn't get God Hand, so I'm cool with that. Uh, Hygienist Angel, Stealth Rogue of Gold Hooks Ogita, Rolling Extender, uh, Pinky Denturus, which she looks adorable, uh, Mercury of Gravitas for Genesis. Uh, pure white witch soft soft salty salty uh, good backup uh, PG if you can't get the, the draw trigger ones and a uh, rare or double rare I mean is unknown Adam Adamski so no triple rares yet just VR is the first hollow <laughs> And two rares so far. And this amazing imaginary gift. This amazing imaginary gift. So so happy I got that. I'll just put it right here with the others. Alright. Stealth Rogue of Thousand Blade. Orbor Zarkuro. Scapple Angel, Stylish Hustler, Battle Maiden Imari, Imari, Stealth Dragon Gambaku, Stealth Rogue of Barbarity Okurao, 
uh, Powered Trooper Singh, which is, uh, he looks pretty cool. He does look like he belongs to the Dimensional Police, though. Uh, Stealth Rogue Goten, Quadrant Liger, Spiritual Sorcerer, Sorcerer uh, Kroot, Stealth Fiend Zahashihimi, Shiny Lady, uh, Battle Maiden Mutsuki, and our first triple rare, uh, Fusing Strike, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's he's essential to the God Hand deck because he searches for it, or he review he pretty much, uh, yeah, he does search for it pretty much. Uh, look at the top five and reveal up to a God Hand. So that's cool. I got one of him. Now I need, uh, you know, three more of him. Alright, Full Moon Muscle, Evil Decoy Token, Dispense Angel, Stealth Dragon Kuragane, Stealth Fiend Otsuke Zura, uh, Prime Plaster, which is the backup uh, PG for this uh, clan, which is about time it got one, for sure. And... Aesthetic visual uh, Simpiezi. Simp I can't say that one for some reason. I am surprised that uh, the that one angel feather card. I think it's like Romeo. I'm surprised Romeo's not in here. I will say that because uh, I figured they would reprint her into this era. Before anything else, at least. Uh, electrical Helper. Grip Banger. Bengal. Uh, Stealth Rogue of Thousand Blades. Obora Zakura. Scapel Angel. Stealth Dragon Zambaku. Uh, Sword Trooper Equitus. And Fever Rocketeer from, from uh, Nova Grappler. So that's pretty cool. He looks cool human-like, human and a hero. Alright, gain gain times two. Uh, Witch of 10,000 Turtles Caper. Uh, Booga Booed Mammoth. Three minutes. Turbo Razor. Uh, Stealth Fiend Suna Benton which is the backup uh, PG so this is a good better PG than the original one because uh, if it's second effect and triple rare Astrea, Astra, Astrea of full heavens triple rare so that's pretty cool uh, I don't know if the deck uses that it probably does but oh well Nice art, though. Ushimi Sumaru. Stylus Hustler. Dispense Angel. Full Moon Vessel. Uh, Stealth, Fe or Stealth Dragon Kuragane. Saturn of Opportune Time. And Takakamaru. Next one, Spiritualist Sorcerer Kroot, Imari, uh, Caper, Mammoth, uh, Otsura, yeah, stupid rares, um, Shogunigini, and our rare, our double rare, Scanning Operator, which is pretty cool. The new uh, Angel Feathers play way differently than the first one. The first set of Angel Feathers. 
which uh, is interesting because it's like a different playstyle, but it still has the same kind of clan mechanic. Uh, Dionys of Beautiful Brew, Gain Gain times two, Stealth Rogue of Grudgeful Gaze, Daimaru, Odd Puncher's Sinon, Sashihime, Sashihime, uh, Thermetry, Thermetry Angel, and Simanu of Divine Punishment, which he looks really cool, uh, but I guess his effect is practically non-existent. Well, I don't, I don't want to say non-existent, but uh, seems like the game would end before you do it, in my opinion. All right, Grit Bangle, uh, Dionys of Beautiful Brew, Stealth Fiend, Dota Dome, Wallboy, Kuragane, uh, Stupid Rares, Sword Trooper, and Evil Stealth Dragons, Angetsu. Uh, I heard this was a uh, must needed for the newer deck, because uh, it does stuff with your tokens. So that's pretty cool. All right. Last pack from this booster box of Cradle. Uh, Hamatsu Kiba, Yuki Oji, Fighting Referee, Dota Dome, Shiny Lady. Oh my God, rares! Stealth Fiend, Going Noe, and our last double rare is Pluto of Deeply Laid. Stratagems, which is a mouthful in of itself. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure the coolest things out of here are Astraeus Dra Dragon and him, along with, if I can pick up the damn cards, uh, him and him. Everything else I'm okay with, but, you know, I can probably do get better stuff in my opinion but yeah this is a pretty much a really good opening so far at least my opinion uh, especially the the nice arted uh, imaginary gift and <laughs> just need three more Astraeus dragons and I think I should be good with that but anyway uh, I know this video has been a long time coming uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to buy more booster boxes up until, like, as many as I could to till I get to at least the infant, yeah, the Dragon's Vanity bo Extra Booster. Because uh, I'm really excited for that one, especially for the, the Aqua Force and Shadow Paladins. Because... Uh, Shadow Paladins and finally getting a different play style, which deals with level 1s, or grade 1s, which I feel like it should have been one of the things to, from the start. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that will be it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit a like, comment on what you pulled out of the set. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next one. <laughs>